A swab of the throat may be collected from a patient presenting with a sore throat and cultured onto blood agar, chocolate blood agar, and maconkey agar for identification procedures and antibiotic sensitivity tests. Streptococcus pyogenes is the most common pathogen isolated from throat swabs. The growth of beta hemolytic colonies may suggest streptococcus pyogenes, but diagnosis should be confirmed by gram staining to demonstrate gram positive cocci that occur in chains catalase tests, and Lansfield grouping. In this procedure, we are using the standard Q strep A antigen rapid test that detects group A streptococcal antigens. This simple procedure generally involves mixing a buffer directly with the patient's throat swab and pipetting the mixture into a sample well on a test card, which will be read after 10 to 15 minutes. Two lines appearing on the test card indicate a positive test result for group A streptococcal antigens. All the throat swabs cultured with significant growth of beta hemolytic streptococci are also prepared for antibiotic sensitivity tests using the disc diffusion or the Kirby Bauer methods. In this method, a single colony is picked from the growth and a lawn is inoculated onto a single blood agar plate by spreading the bacteria evenly and perpendicularly to cover the whole plate with a sterile swab. The antibiotic discs are then placed on the plates, which are incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours. After the bacteria have grown, you can see a clearing around the antibiotic discs called the zones of inhibition. In this example, these bacteria appear sensitive to these concentrations and panel of antibiotics. The letters on the discs are an abbreviation of the antibiotics' full names and the numbers on the discs indicate the concentration of the antibiotic in the disc.